What's going on guys? It's Clever Techie. In this video, we're going to learn how to install the latest version of PHP 7 and make it work with the latest version of Apache 2.4.16 on Windows 7 operating system. All right. First thing you got to do, open up the browser, go to Windows windows.php.net slash QA and here you'll find the PHP 7 uh, beta version we're gonna scroll down from here and uh, you're definitely gonna want a thread safe version because that's the only version that will work with Apache and it's got the required DLL libraries included with it. We're also going to get VC14 since that, that's the latest version of Apache that was compiled in VC14. And I'm going to get the 64 bit version, but if you have a 32 bit, you're going to want to get uh, the x86 thread say VC14. Anyway, let's download it. And I'm not going to save it, I already have it downloaded, but you guys can click OK here and just wait for it to download. It takes about two to five minutes. All right, so I'm going to open up my downloads folder. Once it's finished downloading, you're going to end up with this file here. And uh, I'm using WinRAR, which I talked about in the Apache video. And you can get it at rarsoft.com. And that's what I use to extract zip files. So I'm just going to right click on this file here, extract files. And I'm going to extract it to the C drive directly in the PHP directory, C slash PHP. And it's just going to extract all that. All right. Okay, next. Let's just check it out and see that we have a PHP folder here. And you're going to end up with these two PHP INI files in your directory where you extracted PHP. I already have my php.ini, but you guys can go ahead and rename this uh, PHP development. Just delete this part. Just completely delete it and press enter. And it's going to change it to just PHP INI. PHP INI is what you want to end up with. And before you do that, Make sure your you go to that your extensions are not disabled from the view. So you can check that by going to Organize, Folder and Search Options, View, and then just make sure that this checkbox is not checked. So you don't want to hide extensions for known file types and press Apply. So then you're going to be able to change uh, the extension of this uh, of this file here. All right, so now we need to configure Apache to work with our PHP because the two don't know about each other just yet. So let's go to our Apache folder and mine is on the C drive, Apache 24 folder. I'm going to go to my conf folder and open up the httpd.conf file, which is the Apache configuration file. I'm going to open it and I'm going to see a bunch of text with your Apache conf configuration text. And here is all the text that you need to add in order for Apache to work with PHP. Let me just explain briefly what all of this means. So this first line at handler here just tells Apache to parse PHP files so it knows to interpret the PHP code. The add type, we are adding um, HTML and that HTML capability of uh, interpreting the PHP code inside those HTML and HTM documents. So basically you can create an HTML page and you can insert some PHP code within it and then Apache is going to interpret that PHP code. Without this line, the PHP code within an HTML file is not going to work. So I recommend that you add this line. And then the last one is the load module, which actually loads the Apache module. And uh, 
you just copy the fault line and uh, make sure that you put your PHP directory where your PHP files are located. Mine is cphp and I have that file in there and you should too. And if you have an if you download it there and you're installing an earlier version of PHP, then make sure to change this value to 5 and this value to 5. But I'm, we're installing PHP 7 and we're going to leave it like that. And here, let me just show you where that file is. C, PHP, and there it is. That is the DLL file, file that we're going to be loading from the Apache configuration. And uh, the last one is the PHP INI directory, and this is where your php.ini file that we have uh, renamed uh, earlier on, and this is also in, in the C dot, um, cphp directory here on my C drive, php, php.ini. This is the, we're telling where the file is located by this last line. So just go ahead and uh, add all these lines and then let's scroll down here and just um, make sure that you know where your web files are going to go because we're going to need to access that directory in a little bit. So mine is C localhost and I put all my PHP and HTML files that I'll be running using Apache later on. Okay, that's all we need to do here. Make sure you save the document. Close that. Let's close that as well. Now, let's see here. Okay, well, we're pretty much ready to go. Let's go to our uh, Apache folder. Go back here. And then open the bin folder. And then we can just uh, open up the Apache monitor by double clicking on it. Let me move this here. So you guys can see and now we have the Apache monitor right here and voila my Apache is already running I'm just gonna restart it to make sure it's successfully loaded and looks like it is so if your Apache is not running you can just uh, open the Apache monitor I'm gonna stop it here this uh, means the Apache is not running so you want to start it and then boom the Apache service is started. You can close the monitor now. Now another way with, uh, to load the Apache without a monitor would be to just access uh, Windows services. So just go here in the start menu and type services and the services is going to show up. You click on that. This window is going to pop up with a bunch of services and the Apache should be right here. And you can also start start stop and restart Apache from the services uh, window. So that's another way of restarting Apache. And every time you guys are going to be modifying your Apache configuration file or your php.ini, remember that Apache will need to be restarted every time you do that for your settings to take effect. And we're actually going to test that out in a little bit here. Okay, now that my Apache is running, I can close this. So we're pretty much ready to test if PHP is working with Apache right now. So here's how we're going to do it. I'm going to go back to my web files folder, which is located on C local host drive. And your guys' folder might be different depending where you set your document root to that I talked about. And I have my, uh, well, my web files in here. Let me just delete this file for now. And this is the root directory where, where Apache is going to be loading from. So let's create a file to test if PHP is indeed working with Apache. We get, I'm going to click all the way here in this corner. Oh crap. You guys didn't see any of that. Anyway, here's the, here's the folder uh, in C localhost. Sorry, I forgot to drag this back up here. All right, so what we're going to do here is create, first of all, navigate to your web um, web files folder where all your files are going to be uh, loaded from in Apache. And now we're going to just, I'm going to right click all the way here, go to new. 
And then I'm going to select the text document right at the bottom that you guys can't see, but you'll have that text document. And this creates a new text file. And I'm going to name this file info.php. And I'm going to click yes. Now, again, make sure that your folder and your view options, the hide and extensions for known file types is unselected. That way you're going to be able to create different files with an extension like PHP. Anyway, let's go ahead and open that file with a notepad and then type the following PHP code. Now these, uh, this is an opening tag for PHP and this is a closing tag which tells the browser that we're uh, coding in PHP. And then we're going to insert this very simple function in here called PHP info and we're going to save this file. So this is just a function that tells us what kind of a PHP version we're running and Apache on all those other configurations. So I'm going to save the file and exit. And now we're ready to test uh, PHP and Apache together. Our Apache is running and everything is configured. So we're going to open up the browser and type localhost. And of course this file shows up because that's the index h dot html has been pulled and i'm going to go forward slash info.php which is the file in the root directory that we just created press enter and voila we got our php working and it tells you which version of php you're running and then a bunch of other configuration settings uh, that you can look over but this is uh, this definitely tells us that PHP and Apache are working. Now, before I let you guys go, let's just do one more thing. We're gonna modify our PHP.ini file. So I'm gonna go back here in my C drive, access the PHP folder, and then I'm gonna open up this PHP configuration file with a notepad. And then I want to enable one of the extensions. And first of all, we need to uncomment the, we, we need to enable loading of the extensions from the directory. So we're going to go to edit, find, and just type ext double quote. Find next. It's going to find the extension underscore there. The semicolon here just tells PHP that to ignore this line so we want to uncomment it so that PHP can start reading this line and our extensions are located in the ext directory by default and we don't need to specify the whole the full path PHP already knows it's going to be pulling it from your directory and PHP folder so we uncommented this line now PHP knows where to load the extensions from and I'm gonna go to edit find again and I'm gonna type curl which is a very common extension that you're probably gonna be using uncomment this line as well and now the PHP is supposed to load curl library from the extension folder and so this is just to test out and see that our PHP INI is working and so let's go ahead and file save close out the php.ini and now we're gonna go back to the browser and we're gonna t uh, type localhost again in the browser and go to our info.php file and then we're gonna hit control F to search and I'm gonna search for curl now this doesn't mean anything here it doesn't mean the curl is loaded it's just some information about curl but if I press find again and oh okay sorry I forgot to restart Apache duh okay let's go ahead and I'm gonna go to my my Apache monitor and I'm gonna left click on it go here restart so that was a perfect example actually I'm glad I did that I made that mistake because you guys can see that the settings didn't take effect unless you restart Apache so now that the Apache is restarted I'm gonna go back here to our settings and I'm just gonna 
refresh this page. Refresh, make sure it's refreshed. Control F, search for curl again, and bam, there it is. Now the PHP that i9 settings have worked. It's loading curl. It's pulling it from the extension directory and it's loading the curl extension. So we know that we now know how to modify our php.ini file and whatever settings that you guys need you can always modify uh, php.ini and you can also create a shortcut somewhere where it's easily accessible. I personally have my configuration files in this menu here settings there's the Apache configuration file and there's the php.ini so I can easily and quickly access them and of course of course don't forget to restart Apache every time you modify php.ini otherwise this, these changes aren't gonna work so that was it you guys now have the latest version of Apache and PHP 7 running on your computer. In the next video, I'll show you guys how to install MySQL so you can start working with databases. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.